Good evening and salutations. My date of alive fans. I actually had to think about that. That's why I paused so long. Uh, uh, you know, it's episodes like this that make me struggle to try to be nice to certain characters. Think about the characters that I'm talking about. Um, if you watched the episode today, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm just like, I'm, even before I hit the record button, I was like, think of something nice, think of something nice, think of something nice. Nope. Don't got any. Of course, I'm talking about my favorite vixen, a.k.a. Nicole Walker. Here's the thing. I saw the previews towards this. Um, the winter previews or whatever, Nicole and um, Jada getting into it. I was like, wow, this is really terrible. But then when you watch the episode and you watch this part in its entirety, it's so much worse. Because Nicole really comes across as extremely selfish. Okay. It is baffling, disgusting, and I don't really know this character too well, but what she did was try to place doubt. Well, what she actually did do, I shouldn't even sit there and say try, she placed doubt in Jada's head, saying why, you know, with everything that's going on, because Jada was like, yo, listen, imagine me and me imagine going through what I went through. And then talking about Eric. And, you know, Nicole's like, you know, if you feel that way, then why would you want to be tied? Why would you want to be tied to someone like that? And, of course, this is where the doubt comes in. You know, this is where the doubt comes in. Oh, you know, you're a rising detective and this, that, and the third. And, you know, you're not going to be able to do what you want to do. And your life is going to change this, that, and the third. She didn't do it out of the kindness of her heart, okay? She did this because she wanted Jada to not go, not go through with the pregnancy so she can have Eric, okay? So when this boils all down to it, she told another mother to end her pregnancy because of a man. Now, I say this all the time. Unfortunately, it's days like this that <sighs> bears repeating. We ain't worth all that. Okay? We ain't worth all that. The stuff that's going on on b and with, with Ridge and Taylor and Brooke, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't worth all that. Okay? We're, we're just not. Definitely not worth your self dignity and self respect. But that's what she did. You know? This is, you know, I, I was going to sit there and say, I was like, you know, this is who Nicole is. But then I'm just like, I've only been watching the show for about two and, two and change. Maybe this is how Nicole has always been. I remember when I did my um, review on that terrible god-awful movie, the, the Salem Christmas Story. And one of the characters that annoyed me so much, I had to fast-forward through her scenes because I just couldn't take it. I literally couldn't take it. And people were saying, you know, that's how Nicole used to be. I'm like, that's how she used to be. I'm like, yo, this chick is annoying me now. That's how she used to be? So, yeah, <laughs> that's what she did. She came over there, placed doubts in another mother's head so she can get a man. You know, when I do these reviews and I talk harshly about certain characters, let's be honest, I talk harshly about my favorite characters as well. No one gets spared the ride. No one. When I sit there and talk, 
about characters like Nicole. And there are fans that, that love Nicole and Eric and will sit there and defend her for this, that, and the third. And they'll sit there and wonder, why are you going so hard on Nicole? This is why. So the next time I decide to go off that blonde headed ding that somebody wants to sit there and start questioning, oh, you know, you know, you should try to look at it this way, or you know, to be fair, just remember just remember this episode. And yeah, we could sit there and talk about what well, EJ's this and 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 you know, Rafe is dead and he deserves it and, and Sammy's yada yada and we start throwing a whole bunch of other characters in there. They sit there and try to exalt how Nicole isn't trash. Or she's not as trashy as other characters. Here's the thing though. You're probably right. But it doesn't exalt how I feel about her. And, and granted, that's not to sit there and say that I want other people to feel how I feel about her. That's just how I personally feel about her. Now, honestly, to tell you the truth, I mean, I mean, my favorite scene in this episode was EJ and Rafe because of their history, the fact that they're snit there bonding, and, you know, even um, EJ calls him Dudley Duray, decides to, you know, have a little drink with him. He laughs, he's like, I'm surprised you did. He's like, what are you, what are you offered? And you could have said no. <laughs> like, you could have said no. But, you know, it got to a point where, you know, Ray Fisner did talk about his, the end of his marriage with Nicole. And he was like, let me guess. It has something to do with Sammy's twin. Twin sibling. Like, how did you know? <laughs> it wasn't that, but he was, he was like, um, he said so, it was something about chemistry or something. But the point was, EJ was like, yeah, I saw it. Everyone saw it. So pretty much everyone saw that this was going to happen, except for him. I mean, Grant, he had this nagging, this, this nagging feeling, but he pushed it aside. He just didn't know that it was, it was unavoidable. It was going to happen. But it happened this way, and I'm glad it happened this way. I mean, it could have happened in an adult way, like, hey, you know, this isn't going to work out. But it happened in a good way, one, because it's soapy. And it's interesting. It gives me something to talk about. And two, you get to see who, you get to sit there and see who a person is. How they operate. And the sad part is that Rafe known Nicole for years. Come on. Seriously? Her she was doing stuff like this all the time. Okay, this this is a light work for her. But <sighs> you, you look at stuff like that and sometimes you gotta sit there and look how you how, how that person treated the last person. You know? How they treated the last person. They could have been the adult in the situation with Eric and be like, hey, you know, this isn't going to work. Let's just get divorced, whatever. But no, she decided to go behind his back. She decided to sit there and tell him at the last minute. She wasn't even going to sit there and tell him. She was going to straight up lie to this dude for the rest of his entire life. Rafe, you saw that and you said, yeah, I want to be with her. Let me, let me wife that up at some point. Or maybe, I don't even remember. But the point is like, there's a little pro tip, you know, watch how your ex treated the last person. I was about to then get the scenes confused because I was watching yesterday's episode this morning and a little bit left over from today before I started doing a new episode. Um, I like the scenes with EJ and Marlena. Hmm. Kind of getting confused for a minute. But here's the thing, though. Because he was talking so much about Susan yesterday, stuff started happening that was just like, what? Then I was like, wait, 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 wait. Salem, we're talking about the Salem. We got possessions. I, I heard at some point they had aliens or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing in the 90s or the 80s, but 
Um, Marlena, after Eric left, you know, looking at the doll that Susan made for her. And the doll just fell. He just fell on the ground. And then towards the end on, on EJ's side, you know, he was about to, you know, he got up, he was about to start walking off. And he heard something in the bushes. So he started calling out, you know, like his mother or whatever. Obviously, we're not going to sit there and get that, but I just don't feel like they would just kill or Susan Banks. And there's so many, you know, there was a time before when I was like, oh, well, Ava's going to be leaving and she's going to, you know, probably go back to GH and finish up the story with Kim and everything like that. But I don't know. For some odd reason, I feel like that story is just dead in the water and they just looked at her like, yeah, we're not going to, we're, we're, we're not going to bother to, to tell that story. be interesting if they did, even if they had to come back for a little bit, but, um, what else happened in this episode? Well, later, wasn't that they giving Nicole some really bad advice? I mean, <laughs> hell, at some point, she was not there saying to Abe, hey, why don't you sit there and talk to, talk to Eric and get him to come to his senses? You know, I mean, she did sit there and leave, leave her marriage for him. Okay, well, he didn't ask for her to do that. Hell, he's been doing everything to make sure that he doesn't get, you know, in between their marriages. I don't know what Paulina's talking about. But, you know, Ava's like, I don't feel comfortable. And Nicole's like, you're right. I need to sit there and talk to him. Um, Marlena was sitting there telling Eric, yo, you got to talk to Nicole about this whole thing. Since you're going to be raising baby with one child, you know, raising a baby with one woman and, and being the love you know, be in love with somebody else, like, what are you going to wind up doing? And the sad part is that Eric was, was so excited to be a dad and then talking about he's going to raise co-parent and stuff like that. And now Jay's going to sit there and tell him some bad news. And I mean, granted, he's going to have to accept it out of the way, but, you know, it's going to be a total 180. At some point, I think he does find out, and I, I and it just could have been from the pre the previews or whatever. Um, he does find out that it was you know the decision that she made was based off of Nicole and her you know putting doubt in her and everything like that. So he's going to be pissed. He's going to be. Pissed. And I sit there and look at this. I was like, Eric, why are you so mad for? Her? Why are you mad at Nicole for that? You know exactly who you're getting, who you're getting with. I, <laughs> I think that's why sometimes, like even with Sarah, like Sarah would sit there and get upset with Zan. I'm like, you know exactly what you're getting into. Which, by the way, Sarah starts thinking that it was um, Xander that kidnapped Susan and and um, Bonnie. And Maggie was sitting up there saying, no, 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 you know, your imagination is running, you know, running away from you, and he's changed his life, and he's a better person, this, that, and the third, and, you know, I don't like sitting up there planting seeds of doubt and stuff like that. It's not I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think, because part of me is like, you know, this is usually the time when a parent be like, yeah, yeah, I can totally see him doing something like that. I knew he didn't change his ways. But instead, she's not there saying, hey, well, you know what, Ava, she got a lot of uh, 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 bodyguards and stuff like that that wear those type of blue suits. You know, it's a very common suit. I don't know exactly how common it is because it's expensive. But the point is, she tells him, I mean, she tells um, Sarah that, yo, listen, I don't think it's him. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Now, Xander's not there talking to Gwen, and he feel bad about the whole Susan Banks thing. And you know what? I look at it, and I'm like, that's not his fault. Because truth of the matter is, if he didn't kidnap Susan Banks, Ava would have got somebody else to do it. Yeah, I know she says she doesn't have connects, but come on, seriously. I'm pretty sure she can get somebody to do her a favor or whatever. You know, she probably just would have got somebody else that would have did the exact same thing. The difference was, they just would have shot her right then and there. 
you know. But he feels guilty, and, you know, Gwen is there, and Gwen is like, I'm not going to say anything. And, you know, she tells him, like, yo, listen, um, it, it, like, Ava's dead, Susan's dead, there's no point in you telling Sarah at this point. So Xander comes back home, and after a little bit of chit-chat, Sarah's like, so, um, are you the person that, uh, kidnapped Susan and Bonnie, you know, in the chat? Because, you know, honestly, to you, she was like, everything makes sense. Even hiding them in the Karyakis, um, you know, shed or whatever. He knows his way around. He can get in and out. Um, he's working at some company that no one's never heard of. He talks about a boss, a, a female boss that, you know, told him to do something that he didn't feel comfortable doing. I mean, everything adds up, you know? <laughs> and it's just one of those times where it's like, you know, Maggie... Tells her, hey, you know, just chill out or whatever. But she still winds up asking him anyway. So I actually thought that was, I actually thought that was pretty interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's how she's gonna do it. I think that's about it. I can't really think of anything else that really happened of, um, you know, super significance that I can think of. So with that being said, I'm gonna go. I wanna thank you for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.